Hello and welcome to Wilcom's video short series for Embroidery Studio E4.0. Today I'm going to show you uh, how to use the instant smart design tool uh, inside the embroidery mode as well as doing the conversion uh, from uh, Corel Draw and to kind of show you uh, what the process is. Here I have um, two images on the screen and so I just wanted to show you uh, as uh, if you watched the previous video um, I showed you the difference between the good and bad artwork. So the artwork here, the first ones here, is a little, it's not as bad as it could be. And, uh, and the second one here is, is better actually. So I'm going to press zero here for a full view. So I'm going to show you how the automatic conversion tool works. And keep in mind, everything starts with the artwork. Okay, if you have bad artwork, it's going to take you longer to complete that particular job okay because uh, not only if you're doing a conversion if you can't see the outlines uh, the system can't see the outlines either so and it just knows that it has to go in and fill those areas in and so once you uh, do the conversion from the artwork you're not finished yet you still have to prepare that design for production and that will require that will require uh, some uh, more editing possibly with that image and so uh, we'll do the uh, we're going to select the bug here and over here to the left I'm going to click on a little tap here for the instant smart design tool and I'm going to kind of drag this out now this is part of your auto digitizing tools inside your program and uh, with that if you don't see auto digitizing tools on your screen anywhere remember that you could always navigate up to the upper right corner right click and scroll down to make sure that you have your auto digitizing tools turned on by a check to the left of it everything listed here with a check by it is visible on my screen uh, anything that's not is not visible on my screen so just keep that in mind again you will just navigate up to the top to an open space right click your mouse button and make sure that that feature is turned on on the screen okay so here um, at this point I'm gonna go in I'm just gonna this is really quick I'm gonna click on the first one here and uh, I'm gonna navigate down and I'm gonna use this instant smart design tool to stitch this with so as I click the tab here so I left click it it's gonna generate the stitches for this bug and we just want to see uh, do a visual to see how well it uh, goes in and does the auto conversion okay so this is what it did for this one okay and of course we did not want the background here so we can we definitely can click off uh, these areas but to see how complex this fill here is in the background and so so it actually went in and filled in everything remember with your bitmap files or your raster files it's gonna it's gonna fill in everything you don't have an option to choose what's going to be stitched because it's not a vector or camera ready artwork okay so this is what it did for, to the first design as I press zero. Now we're going to take a look and see what it does to the second design. Again, better image for this one. So we're going to go in and we're going to try the auto conversion tool here by left clicking. And remember, this is just the first part of it. Uh, selecting the image and doing the conversion, that's just the first part of it. Uh, you're, you're not done yet. The design still has to be uh, set up for your production for your embroidery machine and just clicking on it having it stitched basically again uh, it can cause your machine to run longer if the of that editing if the editing at the end is not done uh, because that needs to be done uh, to make sure that it stitches smoothly in production so here we got some areas here so you can see uh, some of the areas they did not stitch well at all and so again this is something that uh, to expect from artwork that's, that's bad for the conversion process okay and that's very important to remember if you have bad artwork especially small lettering uh, the small lettering um, nine and a half times out of ten you're gonna have to use either the Wilcom fonts for the small lettering um, or it's gonna have to be digitized manually okay and that's uh, it because you're new um, if you're not uh, a digitizer or you're still learning that process that design may have to be sent out to a, an experienced professional digitizer to create those files for you okay and again uh, it uh, the digitizer 
controls a lot and if you have a good digitizer in the long run they can save you money okay and keep in mind also uh, a good digitizer is not going to be cheap okay and keep in mind uh, you can choose to uh, pay less for the design and possibly get bad quality that will cause your production to run longer on your machine and so they'll uh, rob you in the long run okay or you can uh, pay a decent price for a good professional digitizer uh, to digitize that design for you uh, you put that design on your machine it runs perfectly the first time you put it on and you can move on to your next job allowing you to make more money because as long as that needle is on the fabric you're making money okay so I just wanted to show you the process here it's pretty quick with, with bring, bringing the artwork uh, and having it on the screen here and remember uh, to bring in the artwork uh, you can go to file and you would just choose import graphic okay and with import graphic you can uh, navigate anywhere on your computer to open up the um, files for you to bring it on the screen okay so this is the process inside the embroidery mode using the auto conversion tools now I'm gonna go in I'm going to um, go all the way back to the beginning and we will there we are I want to make sure that both of them are on the screen so now this time I'm going to show you how to go in uh, through Corel draw to do the auto conversion and the way that that works is like this we're going to navigate up top here to your little balloon your Corel draw balloon uh, saying switch to Corel draw graphics I'm going to left click it's going to take us over to the uh, Corel draw and at this point here we're going to go in I'm going to select those I'm going to press undo here move these in the center again um, we know that we'll have to do a conversion if we click on the design we will see a trace bitmap that's how you will know that uh, it's not a vectorized file uh, just yet basically so this uh, means that I'm gonna have to trace the bitmap and create a vector file for this file so I'm gonna navigate here to the down arrow I'm gonna left click my mouse button and I'm gonna scroll down to uh, outline trace here uh, where you'll do the, the best and I'm just going to the clip art because this is the one that's going to work uh, the best for doing the conversion because it simplifies the number of colors in the design uh, allowing for the thread uh, to have a better success rate so um, I'm going to click clip art it's going to take me in to a power trace mode here okay it takes the original image and transfers it uh, from a raster file uh, to a vector file okay so this is before and after okay and you should see a difference in the quality of the imagery uh, of the imagery here as well so at this point here um, I'm gonna click OK it's gonna take me back out here uh, to the screen and we're just gonna go and do this one next here also again this is the one with the better art um, as I click trace bitmap I'll click on outline trace and then I'll go to the clip art again it'll take me back to my power trace and again for this time I'll go in I'll just choose OK and so we have both vector images now uh, and let me show you what the difference between those look like uh, you see your first design here you can see the uh, kind of feathery edges here but with the vector art here you see it's perfectly perfect perfect uh, round circle here perfect edges and everything so that's the difference between the bitmap and the vector file okay so we're gonna click on this first one and we're just gonna click uh, navigate up top here under the layout menu um, right next to the uh, tag of the photo flash uh, we're gonna click on convert graphics to embroidery and as I left click go in it will convert this one and I'm also I'm gonna go back here to Corel draw now when you do this uh, the first image here is going to be locked on the screen because it's actually a, a graphic it's going to be locked on the screen we just wanted to go in and grab our next one and we're going to navigate here again to the convert graphics to embroidery and we're going to convert that one also 
So once we get back over to the embroidery mode here, I'll press zero and it shows you we have both of our uh, designs here. And so right now uh, you can take a look and see how uh, the quality uh, of the design looks for both of these. And so that will also uh, let you know also that with the uh, instant design tool here, as far as the auto digitizing and the instant smart design tool, it does, uh, there'll be differences sometimes when you go in and you use that tool. Um, it is an option. Uh, it's going to work better for your easier shapes of your files that you have actually. So, um, but the conversion uh, to Corel Draw and Back is going to uh, give you better results and um, depending on the graphic that you're working with it's going to be a better option um, especially for something like this and um, that's going to do it uh, for uh, our conversion process from the uh, embroidery mode uh, to the graphic mode thank you so much and as always uh, we ask that you join us at www.willcomamerica.com thank you so much for your time